think that was intense. <laughs> Did I smile okay? You guys, today is a truffle day. Not the mushroom, disgusting, rich people kind of truffle. Candy dessert truffles, yes. I'm gonna make watermelon truffles. Literally like a mini watermelon in a truffle shape. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be gorgeous, glorious, in fact. It's gonna have like little seeds. It's gonna be pink on the inside, green on the outside. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be like everything you imagine a, a tiny little watermelon to be. I was so excited when I got this idea, but then I Googled it to make sure that like, you know, no one had done it before and some people have, so. I was like, you know what, it's okay, I'm just gonna do it. Join the crowd. So it's gonna be really fun, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a tomato. There's something in my eye, literally. Crusty, crusty booger. And hit that notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I get a new eye booger. It'll be like, Timmy has an eye booger in his eye. And it will also notify you when I post a new video. By the way, y'all, random fact, but I just ordered new glasses. I went to the eye doctor, I got an eye exam. These are my old ones. I got like new ones because these are literally, I think, eight years old. I got them when I was like 14, I think. No, well, then that makes it nine years old. I'm old. And they're crooked and the little gooey things keep popping off. So I buy these little gooey things on Amazon, not sponsored. And I'll just like stick them on there to make it comforting for my little nose. But I just got two new pairs. I'm so excited. I just had to express my excitement. I'm sorry. It had to come out because y'all, fun fact, when I'm not filming, I'm always wearing glasses. I don't wear contacts that irritate my eyes. I just wear like glasses everywhere. But when I'm filming, I'm like, I just act like I can see perfectly. I'm like, <laughs> is it focused? <laughs> can they see my butthole? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I'm just excited about that. Let's make the truffles. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like a no-bake recipe. It's more of like a microwave recipe and a fridge recipe. <laughs> it's actually going to be real simple. So to this bowl, I'm going to add some white chocolate chips, okay? Now this is going to be kind of like the base of our truffles. I'm using white chocolate so that the pink color shows through. And also we can see the little seeds and stuff like that. And because it can be flavored more easily than chocolate you feel me so white chocolate it is oh my god I almost did not have enough wait oh I got some in here where did all my chocolate chips go it actually wasn't me this time just kidding I had a few but it wasn't just me it was also my sister and possibly my boyfriend I will get to the bottom of this <laughs> Because we got our chocolate chips in here. Perfect. And now I'm going to take some heavy cream. Isn't it cute? And I'm going to put it into the chocolate. Now this is going to give it more of a chocolate ganache texture than just a chocolate texture. And make it a lot softer than just basic chocolate. You feel me? Y'all, to be honest, I don't get the difference between heavy cream, milk, butter, cheese. How does it all come from one cow titty and all become so many different things? Cow titties are goals. They can be anything they want to be. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just wish that I was a cow titty. Life would be so simple. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Mix that in a little bit. Great, beautiful, wonderful, flawless. I'm just gonna pop this back in the fridge or back up the titty. If I can find a cow nearby. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I live in Miami. I don't know where a damn cow is. I mean, besides when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Super creamy. So now I'm gonna... Let me translate that. A little bit of butter. Once again, another part of the cow titty. This is like cow titty truffles. So I'm just gonna take like, mmm, this much, I think. I'm just gonna take it off, unwrap it, even if it's annoying and it gets under your nails. Butter under the nails is the most slimy feeling ever. Okay, I'm just gonna like chop this up into little pieces, as small as I can, just because it will make it easier to melt and disperse throughout all the chocolate instead of just being in a blob. You feel me? Now I'm just gonna like kind of just like take it apart with my hands. I don't know why, but the sound of like chopping butter is so satisfying. Here's some more. Ugh, gotta wash my hands after this. <laughs> so now that they're all kind of broken apart, I'm just gonna put them into my container, sprinkle them around all over so that it melts equally. Now I'm gonna wash my slimy ass hands. <laughs> Okay, so this is like literally the unmelted base of our truffle. This is what's gonna make the texture of the truffle and everything perfect. I'm just gonna mix all the stuff together real quick just to get it kind of incorporated. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to make the sweet flavors come out more because there are salty bitches everywhere and you gotta represent the salty bitches. 
You need some savoriness, you salty bitch. <laughs> so now to this, I am going to add my watermelon flavoring. Now I'm adding this before and the food coloring before because if you add like food coloring to chocolate that's already been melted, it will literally turn into a blob. Like it will instantly turn hardened and horrible. So that's why I add it before I melt it and that way everything gets hot and melts together. So this is just watermelon flavoring. Just put a little bit there, that's enough for sure. So I'm just gonna mix this in. Wow, this isn't even the food coloring yet and it's already real pink. That flavoring has some nice coloring now. <laughs> So obviously that's not pink enough, so I'm gonna add my food coloring now, like I said. I'm just gonna add some rose pink. This is a, a very watermelony color, I feel. It's super vibrant, super summery, even though it's the winter. <laughs> Thanksgiving's coming right up, I just want that, <laughs> that summery feel. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, this is so pink. Yes, this is the exact color I'm looking for. That's vibrant. Like now it's time to microwave this until it's fully melted But it's it's a very particular thing to do because chocolate can burn super fast And so I'm just gonna like microwave it for like 30 seconds and then stop and mix it 30 more seconds Stop and mix it 30 more seconds stop and mix it etc until it's completely melted into one creamy consistency So I'm gonna take y'all along for the microwavable ride. <laughs> okay, so I put the container in my dirty ass microwave Oh, you guys look at these little See these little drops of old food. So many memories here. I got a, I got a hungry man there. I got a banquet pot pie there. My life. I love it. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Looking like a damn queen. <laughs> Slaying life one day at a time, bitch. Let's do it for 30 seconds. See what happens. I will update you guys in 30 seconds. So this looks a little juicier than before. Nothing crazy. Wait, this is going to be hard to mix. Oh! Yeah, okay, this is melting. It's just hard to mix while filming. So I have like nothing to hold on to, you feel me? But it's okay, I'm getting it done. Yeah, so obviously this is working fast too. Cause 30 seconds did this, y'all. One second, I need to mix this well, I'll be back. Okay, so the more that I mix it, the creamier it got and it's basically like all the way melted. I think that's all it needs to be. So it took literally 30 seconds and some mixing and it looks fully melted. Let's move back to the counter, y'all. Okay, this is such a gorgeous texture. Look at how thick and sticky and chocolatey and creamy it is. Yes. That's what happens when you mix butter, heavy cream, and chocolate. You get something glorious, you guys. And it took 30 seconds. That is iconic. I don't know if it's this container or if it's just me and my impact. We are going to put it into the fridge for like, I think an hour until it's set. Now the texture of this is not going to turn hard like chocolate. It's going to be sink your teeth into candy texture. You're going to see it when it's set. But for now, just imagine it. <laughs> this is truly glorious though. I love this texture. Holy crap. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to pop this into the fridge for a while and then I'll show you guys it once it's almost there, okay? Okay, so my truffle mixture is almost all the way set. As you can see, I've been fingering it. <laughs> I've been poking it. Dash is to check if it's like hardened and look, it's like a doughy texture. See, it's so nice. That is like amazing. So it's almost there. I love it. It's like, it's like a slime. For the next step, I need this to be completely cold. So I just kind of stuck my finger in to feel and it is completely cold. <laughs> because I'm going to add my mini chocolate chips. And these were so expensive because they were the only mini chocolate chips at the store. And they just happened to be dairy, nut, and soy free. So I spent a coin, but that's okay. And so because this texture isn't really mixable, as you can see, what I'm going to do... This is just me like improving because I was like, ooh, how do I mix that in? Last minute, I was like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm just going to sprinkle on these tiny chocolate chips. How cute. Literally just like sprinkle them on. Maybe like that much. And I'm literally just going to push them in. Just like this. If there's a lot in one spot, just kind of spread them out like in the fingerprint spot. I'm just gonna push them in. So cute. Oh, get out of there, that's a lot. Oh my God, you ruined it. All around, push them in. In. So that when we do make this dough stuff into balls, they're just gonna be kind of dispersed throughout without me having to mix them. Does that make sense? Am I making sense here? Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, this is such a nice texture. Such a nice like truffly biteable texture, but the center is still a little soft. So yeah, it does need more time. So I'm just gonna keep on pushing these in. Uh, China had a lot of hair. 
So now these are all pretty much pushed in. How cute. I'm gonna put it back into the fridge until this is completely set. Like the outside is like pretty much completely set. See what I mean? It's like perfectly pushable, but then the middle is still kind of sticky. So I'm just gonna wait until the middle is like this, and then we will make the balls. It's in the fridge. I'm dancing, but you can't see. But I'm twerking my ass off until it falls off. My ass is gonna fall off and become its own person and twerk by itself. <laughs> okay, so my dough stuff is literally the perfect texture. See, nothing sticky. It's all super firm, ready to go. So now I'm gonna make them into little testicle shaped balls. I'm trying to get the accurate testicle size. Okay, so I'm just gonna literally scoop some up with my spoon, maybe like that. I'm just gonna fold it over so that like the seeds are kind of like in the middle. And it's still a little bit sticky, but it's like whatever, it's good enough. Now I just roll it around in my hand. And it's gonna get real sticky because of the warmth of your hand. And I'm such a warm, loving person that it's really gonna melt. Just like that, see, it's a perfect ball. It's really sticky, but that's okay. We're gonna put it back in the fridge right after this. And it has the seeds in it! So I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over until all the dough is gone. So enjoy! Keep it like a bush. Okay, so my hands look real appetizing. I have my four truffles. Don't they look beautiful? You can see the seeds in them. They look amazing, incredible, gorgeous, just like their creator, AKA me. And so I'm gonna put these little pink ass testicle shaped balls into the fridge and let them cool down completely again because the outsides of them are like really warmed up from my hands. But in the meantime, we're gonna make the coating, okay? Okay, so now for the coating, of course, we need that green watermelon skin, watermelon flesh, <laughs> watermelon silicone titties. We need that greenness, you feel me? So I got some green candy melts. Gonna cut these open and put this big block into here. I don't know if they're supposed to be in a block or if they just melted, maybe in the hot Miami car. But I'm just gonna stick that in to my little container, microwavable. And I'm gonna microwave this 30 seconds at a time, mix it 30 seconds, blah, 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 until it's completely liquefied, candy melt, dripping down my nipples. I just realized it was not filming. <laughs> Uh, and I already did one. Okay, so basically I just melted all my candy melts. So they're like the perfect texture. There's some good ass candy melts. And now I'm just literally rolling my balls in my candy melts to get that watermelon coating. It's super simple, super easy. Just toss it around just like that. Beautiful. Okay, these are perfect. Obviously, I'm gonna cut off all the excess <laughs> once they're hardened. But I'm gonna put these into the fridge until the candy melts are completely hardened and everything is set and ready to go. Okay, so my truffles are fully hardened. You guys, listen to this. You hear that? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to trim off the chunks of candy melt that just were like excess disgustingness. So I'm just gonna keep going until they're all pretty and clean. Play the music. Yes! Oh my god, okay. So they're basically done. Let me just cut one open to see what it looks like on the inside. It's like, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, that's sliced. I didn't think it would. Oh, oh my god, so pretty. It just needs some more chocolate chips. You can barely see the seeds, but it's so cute. Wow, those look amazing. Let me just add some of these little chocolates in there and squish them in. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all, how beautiful are they? Look at the colors, look at the little seeds I just put in right now, because they didn't work out before, but it's fine. They look amazing. Look at the, it just looks, it just looks so soft, and like, look, it looks biteable. Like, you can just like push in on it, and it's like kind of sticky. Oh my god, yes. <gasps> look. Zing. Oh my lord. Those seeds, I just cannot. It's exactly what I envisioned. Thank you, Lord, for these tiny little watermelons, yes. Amen. Let's taste them. Okay, y'all, I'm so ready. I'm just gonna take a whole one and just bite right into it. Look at this. Look how pretty it is. There's a little pink popping on a little butthole. <laughs> My butthole's not that pink. Okay, <laughs> let's just taste it. Mm. Oh my god. Look at that texture, y'all. Wait, focus. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. The more chocolate, though. Mmm, these are incredible. Mmm, my -hmm. god. So creamy. It tastes a lot like the Starburst truffles. It's just such a unique texture that's unlike anything else. It's like, it's sticky, but it's stretchy, but it's like creamy. 
Look. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching and watch the whole thing and the truth tomato and all the pets and so i know who you are leave a comment that says does that count as fruit like is it healthy <laughs> also don't forget to watch my last videos y'all i tasted tons of hungry man frozen meals it was amazing go check that out all my little videos should be popping up around here don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato i will see you guys next video i love you guys so much <laughs>